Hi guys, welcome back to my allotment diaries. My name is Emma, this is my allotment plot. Join along, follow, subscribe, what have you, and come and follow my journey on my allotment plot. I'd love to share it with you. I make loads of mistakes, so hopefully I will make them so you don't have to. That should be my tagline actually. I'll make the mistakes so you don't have to. <laughs> I don't know if you recall yesterday when I was here, or my last vlog when I was here, I said something along the lines of, oh god, did I just break my shed window? No, I didn't, it's fine. I did break my bloody shed window, look at this. What's happened is I've stumbled, put my hand through, so the window's popped out, tried to put it back in and it's all cracked, it's like a hole here now, I can get my hand. So I did spy a an abandoned shed. It plots down as an abandoned shed and there is quite a nice window which is sort of sticking out um, as if it's come away. I think at some point I will get that window and just patch up my window I think. I think that's the best thing to do is to reuse because it's not actual glass, it's like this plasticky stuff which means that it's probably going to break more than once. Oh, which is okay. Oh, there's a bee here. Oh, maybe that bee wasn't dead. There's a bee in here. Oh, bless him. He's asleep. I don't know if you can see, but he's actually sleeping. He's up there. He's obviously come in from the cold and he's sitting up there. Right, okay, plan today. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move that compost bin over to there and then build another compost bin next to it. And that's going to be my compost area down there. So I'm just going to get on with it because I don't know how much time the kids are going to want to spend here today. And I just want to get on with it and get it done. I just think because there's a ground sheet under the uh, dirt there, I found a ground sheet. I just think it'd be good to have the compost on a ground sheet. So I'm just going to move it over. That's what I'm going to do. Oh, I'm going to get all muddy again, but it's fine. compost so actually this might be a really good way of turning it and getting right to the bottom on the top I've still got things like eggshells and cardboard but on the bottom it sort of looks like soil right I'm just gonna I'm just gonna transfer it into there and we'll see what happens hang about I can't find my fork I've got to find the fork first because I can't do it with my hands where have I put my fork I'm always losing my tools, I always forget, I get so knackered by the end, I just want to go home and I forget to put my tools away. But another quick tip for allotment holders, put your tools in the bloody shed because someone's going to steal them and someone will steal mine one day and I will be gutted. But I told myself so, so there we go. Right. I'm shaking because my hands hurt so much. Um, that's my compost moved from there to there. So I think it's a bit better being in the corner of my plot. And I found this black ground sheet. I'm going to use that as the um, the uh, roof instead to keep it covered. And this is an old polytunnel thing. I just need to buy the frame and then I've got myself a polytunnel. I'm going to put the roof on now and um, tidy the polytunnel cover away and see what kind of space I've got to utilise at the back here now because I think I should have some more space. That's the plan anyway Batman. That's the plan Batman. Actually I might use that black ground sheet to cover the fence and hopefully it'll rot down a bit quicker. What do you think? Oh god I think it's a good idea. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. mud and it's just it's just one of those jobs you just want to get done and then never think about again i don't know if you can see what i'm doing guys i'm sorry it's so muddy i don't want to keep touching my camera right it's sort of all along the back now i don't know if that's going to work or not i might stick some rocks or something on it I 
can't decide if it looks better or worse. But the thing is, is where the fence is, I've got hairs in my mouth, sorry. Um, where I've made the fence, underneath that there are still brambles which grow and I want to stop growing so maybe that will stop them growing but what do you think? I don't know. I really don't know. Um, I don't know if it looks worse or better. I'm going to have more compost along here you see so that will sort of be hidden. <sighs> I don't know. It's hard to tell at this time of year because nothing's growing whereas I think in the springtime, summertime things look better anyway so... I've changed my mind again. <laughs> so the fifth time I've changed my mind. Actually, this is a great area for compost, isn't it? Um, so I've got a pallet and I've got this compost thing. I think that ground sheet should be on the floor and I can make it a compost area. So I'm going to move the ground sheet onto the floor. So I'm just going to change my mind again because, you know, I like to make life as hard as possible for myself here. <laughs> okay, right, let's change our minds again, shall we? Not only do I think this looks a million times better, but also I've created a proper composting area for myself um, and also like a tool making station and everything. Like it's just, it's brilliant. Um, so the idea is I'm going to wood chip it, but this is what it looks like now. I should have done before and after really, but I didn't. But look at this, right? Now I need two more pallets and I'm going to make a pallet composter next to it. That'll move along a bit. Um, I'm going to dig these into the ground a bit got the ground sheet there and I'm going to wood chip all around it so that it's nice and neat doesn't get too muddy can compost in the winter how much better does that area look now so good it's a shame about all the brambles behind but you can't do anything about them um, they're there to stay so much happier with how the back of the plot looks now um, just feels a lot more put together a lot more usable yes yeah, great I'm utilizing more space I think and then I've got all this room over here to do more raised beds over here um, so I'll dig some more raised beds there, grow some more stuff, I'm happy. I'm really, really made up over that, I think it looks great. Ah. Also, just wanted to show you this. On the way in here, I noticed that someone had thrown this away into a big pile of junk. Um, so I nabbed it because I thought it was quite a good pot. Um, but here it is, yeah, I found this. So it's completely free, which is brilliant. Um, I thought I could grow something in that. Carrots, maybe? Oh, maybe it's not deep enough for carrots. Oh, it might be for little, like, ch Chatonet carrots, whatever they're called. Um, I'm getting a little collection of pots now. I've got some bulbs in some of them, um, but I'll have to think about some things I can grow in pots uh, because I don't really grow in pots so much, but that might be quite nice to try. The kids are playing. They love it here so much. It's so nice to be able to get them out somewhere. Um <laughs> just want to super quickly show you my purple broccoli which is just doing beautifully look at this it's absolutely come to life there's broccoli everywhere every single plant has got hundreds and hundreds of broccoli heads on it which is amazing for the longest time this broccoli did not do anything and I mean anything at all um, and also all my tulips from last year are coming up look at these hundreds of them just hundreds of them uh, which is just amazing I didn't think they would come up again, but there you go. They're coming up again, so that's pretty amazing. Uh, but yeah, this broccoli is amazing. Um, I keep saying amazing, I'm sorry. I can't think of any other adjectives, obviously. My mind is like gone to mush now. Uh, but yeah, really happy with the broccoli. So I'll be picking some of that tonight. It took a lot of motivation for me to do that at the back because it's such a nasty job but I do find that if you've got a really horrible job to do now is the time to do it before we get into like 
the weather warms up because then you're going to be wanting to sew and do nice things and relax and enjoy the weather and you know all the fun jobs so any horrible jobs like that you've got to do now you want to move your compost heap you want to dig a dirt dig a new bed anything like that do it now and um, that is my advice that's what I did last year and then I was able to spend the whole of spring summer just enjoying the plot and sewing things I wanted to sew um, my next job is to clean up the shed um, you can see that my new uh, thing on there I don't know what you call it like a hanger thing is really working now and it's keeping things off the ground but I do have a lot on the floor still uh, I need to sort out all my cloches and my nets and things I need to sort out the shelves um, yeah the whole shed just needs taking out and then putting back together again that's what I'm going to be doing and I'm probably going to find loads of spiders so do subscribe to my channel um, and stay tuned for that video because I'm sure it'll be very entertaining for you guys as I squill my way through cleaning out the shed and trying to avoid all the bugs and spiders which I know are in here somewhere um, until then I will see you in my next vlog sorry it's a bit short this one but once again I just like to get them up and that's all I did today. <laughs> there you go. Right, I'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. Worst ending ever, I know. Sorry. <laughs>